effective resistance. Effective resistance is the total resistance in the circuit due to the resistance of resistors or any other components with resistance. Unless otherwise stated, we will assume the following in analyzing circuit problems. A cell or a battery has negligible resistance. Connecting wires have negligible resistance. An emitter is ideal, which means it has zero resistance. A voltmeter is ideal, which means it has infinite resistance. No current passes through it. In a circuit, the resistors can be connected either in series or parallel to each other, or a combination of series and parallel. For resistors connected in series, the effective resistance is the sum of the resistance of the resistors in series. So in this example, the effective resistance across AB is the total resistance of R1, R2, and R3. In a series circuit, the potential difference across AB in this case, will be equal to sum of the potential difference across the three resistors in series. In exercise 12, we have a 3.0 ohm resistor connected in series with 8.0 ohm resistor and a 2.0 ohm bar. The effective resistance of these three components connected together will be equal to the sum of the resistance of these three components, which yield 13.0 ohm. In part B, to find the potential difference across the light bulb, you need to use the relationship between resistance, potential difference, and current. So using R equal to B over I, you substitute the value of 2.0 ohm and 1.5 ampere into the equation and you can calculate V by multiplying 1.5 ampere by 2.0 ohm to get an answer of 3.0 volt. For resistors connected in parallel, the effective resistance of the three resistors connected in parallel, in this case here, will be the sum of the reciprocal of the resistance in parallel. So mathematically, it can be represented by this. 1 over R effective equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. After you have obtained the value of 1 over RE, then you need to find the reciprocal of 1 over RE to get the value of RE. Exercise 13, part A requires you to calculate the effective resistance of the 4.0 ohm and 8.0 ohm resistors connected in parallel. Using the formula, 1 over RE equals 1 over 4.0 ohm plus 1 over 8.0 ohm, we get an answer of 3 over 8.0 ohm. But that is not the answer. We need to find the reciprocal of 3 over 8.0 ohm. So, to invert it, we get an answer of 2.7 ohm correct to two significant figures. In exercise 13, part B requires you to determine the reading on the emitter. The reading on the emitter is the current coming from the battery. The current coming from the battery is the potential difference across the both resistors divided by the effective resistance of the two resistors. So, using the formula, I equals to B over R, I equals to 8.0 volt divided by 2.7 ohm and get answer of 3.0 ampere. So 3.0 ampere is the current coming from the battery, the current supplied by the battery. Now this current will be the sum of the current in the 4.0 ohm resistors and the current in the 8.0 ohm resistor. These two currents must add together to give you 3.0 ampere. So the current coming from the battery is 3.0 ampere will split into two parts. They will not be splitting equally because 4.0 ohm is a smaller resistance and 8.0 ohm is double the resistance of 4.0 ohm. 
So you expect the current in the 4.0 ohm resistor to double that of the 8.0 ohm resistor. And after that, the current will merge here and the value of the current here should be the same. It's 3.0 ampere again. In part C, we're going to determine the current through each of the resistor. So we can use the potential difference across each of the resistor, which is equal to 8.0 volt, divide by the resistance of each of the resistor. So for the 4.0 ohm resistor, we get a current of 2.0 ampere. For the 8.0 ohm resistor, we get a current of 1.0 ampere. And that is reasonable because just now I mentioned that the current through the 4.0 ohm resistor should be double 0.0 ohm resistor. The sum of these two current in these two resistors must give you an answer of 3.0 ampere. 